There are a couple more tutorials to finish season three here on the channel so we can start season four. But one of the things that we actually need to address is the lack of motion capture, a quality motion capture for that matter. And I've recurred to the VMD models, which are awesome in the sense of motion captures. And in this video tutorial, you will know how to bring correctly a model to Blender and then use physics and also export it in the next tutorial, in the following tutorial, all right? First of all, thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, up, put soldier. the thumbs up and share if you find this very useful because it helps the channel to keep them going. All right, so most of us have been having troubles every time we brought a model from BMD, PMD, which are formats from the Miku Miku Dance, very popular software in Japan, by the way, and they have physics. That, and for those of you who don't know, Miku Miku Dance is a very amazing piece of software where you can animate your 3D assets, okay? It's almost like 30 years already in the market. So the step number one is to get a model. We are going to get it from the link below. Please read the description. Please read the description. Please read the description in the video so you can download the same model that you're seeing here. The second step is to get the add-on so that we can import the Miku Miku Dance models into Blender from this site. Please read the link below. And then you unzip the, the plugin, or rather the folder, and then you're gonna cut that folder, this one right here. You're gonna cut it, and then you're going to paste it into the Blender Foundation location on your machine, which in my case is Blender 281 and then paste it. And with that, we're going to go back into Blender, go to the preferences on the edit menu, and then on the add-on, we're gonna type MMD. And there, sure enough, we should see in Blender 2.81, we should see these add-on already list it and then we are going to activate it. Next, you're gonna find a panel right here on the end panel, numeric panel, right here on this tab. And then you're gonna get two additional tabs here for displaying the model. So step number three is to import the model itself. Remember, we have two options here, the model and the motion data from Miku Miku Dance, okay? So it's not so much motion data, but they call it like that because sometimes it's done from motion capture directly trespass to Miku Miku Dance and then you get it. But then other times there are people who animate this according to a video and then they just, you know, record it as such. So anyway, if we have some parameters here, there is no need to uh, check remove doubles or rename bones as left or right because most of the time the automatic importing will do this for you. Okay, but just in case, this is for legacy rather than the new models. This is why I'm pointing you to a new model instead of a legacy model, which is 2014 and behind. So those were really buggy. But the new models are awesome. You can just, you know, import them. It will take around 15 to 30 seconds. And then the first thing you see is that the model is pink when you switch your view model to realistic light. So what we need to do is to switch that, first of all, clicking here, also for legacy models, to changing the materials to cycle materials. And the next thing we're going to do is switch here to this tab and then activate the shaderless material. And you're gonna notice that you're going to go back into solid mode view. All right, that's cool. But what we want is to work with the texture. So you need to uncheck this one, tune texture check mark so that you can see it back on your dev, look and dev mode. So you can also hide the bones right here from this tab or from the regular viewing panel. And if you would like your characters to be displayed in Japanese, like here, of course, you're going to test your shapes as well. 
this this model comes with many different shapes is to come here to uh, preferences and then delete your custom font and with that you should see your um, kanji characters there I hope it's correct kanji characters anyways so the first thing we want to do is to check out these three things three settings that we have here the first one is the one that we are interested in specifically with physics if you click physics okay then you're going to get uh, that warning sign being removed so and also the edge preview if you click on create you're gonna get an outline for your character which is basic for every uh, tune character so let's switch here let me switch the world view by clicking here in scene world okay I apologize for not making it bright white but it damages the the compression some sometimes I don't want to do that so let let's just leave this let's let, let's just say that I like the log look <laughs> all right so yes we see that we have an outline here with the inverted call method using solidify here on blender you can see that it even takes the textured color and somehow darkens it on the same area by average Okay, so it's a very interesting method they use to find out what color will outline the mesh. Really awesome. I think it's based on the texture itself, but then multiplied by some kind of uh, darkening a shader, and then it gets assigned. That's why it's got index material 79. Anyways, so we want to import the motion, and the panel brings us that option as well. So select the model click on import in motion find a motion in this case please read the link below so I'll leave that link for this motion BMD data so you can check it out as well the video which is based on are this popular K-pop group called Momoland and the song is called BAM so credits for them and to the authors I'm not claiming anything of ownership but to they be the honor <laughs> and, the, and the recognition for that if you see here you will now have your animated keyframes on your timeline press home while you hover over the timeline so you can see the complete extension but now if we scrub back and forth we only see that the model has facial animation but not physical body animation and moreover it doesn't have any kind of bones rotation applied I don't know why this panel does that I'm going to redo this all over again but this time I'm not going to check I'm going to leave everything at default rather so I bring again my, my model we do the same operation again but this time we're going to make it from the file menu alright so this is the best way and this is the way that got me working this, this file so file import VMD you can see the the location and please select VMD number one why does it have one or two options for motion data because sometimes you can see there are two different characters on the same scene that's why the main character is named one and the second character secondary character is main two or so so we see the motion correctly import hooray but now let's switch a little bit this viewport so we can get a clean render we still don't have physics but we're going to solve that in just a moment so let me just fix this and I want to render this out at 4K, full 4K glory. If you don't know what the 4K format is, you can come here to the presets and then you find out what your size, your correct size for that render would be. I have it here rendered with transparency I'm going to save this image as a PNG format all right you know the drill I don't need to go over to that part so physics yes most of the time when you bring the the model 
you will find out that the physics do not follow the body and this is done also through the panel you can see there are rigid bodies here and joints which list on the left side a convenient method to select to quickly select that's the only purpose and for the right side we have the naming space in English so that means that we don't need to rename the bones because we will break all of the hierarchies you know connected to that bone although blender can handle that but just for you and your reference alone you can type your name on the right side so let's go back if you notice here we have a warning on the physics tab so if you click build this is going to tell Blender to script everything and then to attach every Physic Collider with their own respective parent, okay? So that's what that button does. The first thing, it's to build the physics. And now that they have been correctly attached, you can see the, the movement here, the animation. But wait a minute, something is wrong. The physics simulation is being very offset. It's like it's not being calculated correctly. And that is because we need to correct the units in which the Miku Miku Dance model was created in. So we have to set the size to 0 0.02. Most of the time, this hot size will help you in general models. But for this specific case, this is, this is the, the best number that got me uh, working the physics, specifically the breast, as you just saw a minute ago. All right, so now you're going to select the model, press F3 or spacebar to get the search bar, and then type bake all physics. And with that, your physics are going to start being calculated. And this is a frame number, which is currently going forward. And down here, you're going to see in a little bit of a space, the point cache. All right, this point cache is the one baking, the baking percentage of the simulations. And it's necessary for you to display the physics. So I'm going to let it roll up all the way up until 1000 and something. It's around 15%. And if you want to cancel it, you just press escape. And then you're going to um, see your simulations. Also, it's very important to check out on your rigid body worlds what kind of measures and speed it has because the speed takes in determination how much is going to calculate between each subframe with its colliding and simulating. All right, so fantastic, it's working now. We brought the animation, we brought the model, and the physics are applied. It's nothing else, nothing difficult, it's just three simple steps. Bring, install it on, and bring the model, shade the model, apply physics, and then bake the physics. So you have it right here. So you're asking me, why do we have to go all the travel for that for? Because in the next year, in 2020, we will mostly likely use this kind of data for some of the animations we're going to be porting from the different characters. So take that in acquaintance. Anyways, speaking of characters, this is the final sneak preview of the character I'm going to be using for you to learn how to stylize the shader like the Guilty Gear one. If you see here, the lights make the, the, the shoulder blades react accordingly, the shoulder shields rather, also the hair specularity and most other things. For example, the tool. The tool now works superbly. This was the concept, the original concept, and now it's working. It's even got its own controller for, for doing different things. Also, the eyes highlights work as well. And I also determined that we needed to change her stockings so that it will match her uniform. And also you have now a parameter to switch the skins from realistic to flat shade. Also, the blade has a weapon glow parameter where you can bump up the number and then get realistic or rather EV glows like you're seeing here without affecting the character and looking awesome for all the other objects. So don't forget, please subscribe. This is my last video for the year and I really, really up, am happy that this got pleaded over this year because we're going to be using the stylized shaders in Blender for this series of tutorials that are coming. Thank you very much for all of your support and for following me on all my socials and for backing this project up. Happy New Year and thank you so much.